Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. We are back yet again, everybody. We are back with another fragrance review right here, guys, on my lovely day off. Oh my God, I have been working like a horse lately, guys. And, you know, thank God I have some time to do this. But anyways, I am excited to talk about this upcoming unreleased, currently unreleased, but upcoming Creed fragrance, guys, that I'm sure if you have a Reddit, if you have a YouTube and a Facebook group, I'm pretty pretty sure uh, you guys have probably heard about this fragrance. So today, of course, as always, like I did with Carmina and Queen of Silk, I will be giving you the no hype breakdown on this upcoming fragrance that is probably going to be pretty hyped. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe, guys, okay? Liking, subscribing, and watching the ads is a great big deal to this channel, especially that we are headed towards 23,000 subscribers. So please continue all your support, guys. Like, subscribe, deep dive into my over 700 no-hype videos. A lot of these fragrances, if not all of them, are those significant fragrances that you guys want to hear about. So please continue all your support. Thank you very much. And the fragrance that we'll be talking about today is none other than this fragrance right here from Creed, which is currently unreleased, will be releasing very, very soon. This is none other than Creed Centaurus. Yes, Creed Centaurus, guys. Oh boy, guys. All right, here we go again. I mean, I have been on top of this stuff, guys. All right, Carmina, I was one of the first people who really brought that to YouTube, and then Queen of Silk as well. People couldn't believe that. And here we are again with Creed Centaurus. Now, where did I get this? Okay, I got this from a friend of the channel. He owns a decant shop, and his name is Joey. Thank you, Joey. He owns Scent Rush. All right, so this comes from Scent Rush. As always, a lot of people in the fragrance community are ahead of the curve when it comes to unreleased fragrances. He has a bottle that he is decanting for a lot of y'all that want to try this fragrance. So again, thank you, Joey from Scent Rush. I will be linking his link below for you guys to check out. He's got a lot of stuff, not only this one. Also, I think he's about to list the Aventus Absolute Triple Aged, which is pretty crazy because that one is unreleased as well. So thank you again, Joey. Now this fragrance right here, guys, as you can see, from the bottle, the name, I mean, this one is pretty masculine, all right, in its approach, in the concept, guys. Centaurus, obviously, is a constellation, and this is actually part of uh, two releases by Creed. It's not just this one. There's Delphinius, hope I said that correctly. That's coming out as well. I'm pretty sure we'll get that early as well. But these are basically two constellations, but of course, Centaurus is a centaur okay that is basically the makeup of this constellation centaur is like part human part horse and it's this muscular centaur uh that is basically the concept right here so it's got a lot of masculinity and if you look at the bottle the bottle is red kind of like war red right so margin red or war red so i i look at it as a very masculine fragrance from the concept alone and the bottle presentation now let's go into this fragrance fragrance, if you looked at the notes ahead of time, then you have this feeling that this is going to be another fall-winter fragrance, but with notes that a lot of y'all are familiar with, okay? We're talking about tobacco, we're talking about spices, we're talking about amber, ambroxan. So there's a lot of notes here that you guys are pretty familiar about, but of course, as always, it's all about the execution. So what is this fragrance about? Let's go spray this thing right now. Hmm. Okay, guys, now let's talk about this fragrance right here, Creed Centaurus. So as the presentation designates, as the concept states, when you spray this fragrance right here, you've got an absolute blast of masculinity, all right? So right here in the beginning, guys, on the opening notes, you are gonna get cinnamon, you're gonna get cardamom, you're gonna get black pepper, and you're gonna get 
tobacco right here in this opening. So obviously these are all very popular fall winter notes. But one thing I can say for sure is that right here in the intro, it is a blast of spices, all right? It is more masculine in the get-go because of a heavy amount of spice. Cinnamon, black pepper, some slight cardamom with a little sweetness right there, but it's a lot of like cinnamon. I mean, it's almost like, I would say, you know, the pimento, the pimento uh, style uh, start with a lot of spices right here. Now, the tobacco right here, I would say, is not like a super strong tobacco note, all right? I would say that the spices in the beginning overcome the tobacco. The tobacco is kind of like a secondary note right here versus the spices, but it is still a woody tobacco, guys, all right? But definitely once you spray this, it's going to be a spicy wake up. Very, very masculine, guys. And the thing about these fragrances, I'm going to say, is that a lot of them go from this to like more sweeter, and I call it the reveal, kind of like a sweeter reveal eventually, guys. But the thing I'm going to say about this opening is that the very masculine, more spicy tobacco intro actually has its own coverage. So it lasts actually like I would say like an hour or, or maybe even two hours, maybe an hour uh, to two hours of that coverage of that spiciness. So real fall winter, real masculine, real macho, real centaurus on the field, guys. I like this intro right here because like I said, it's not really like strongly like balanced sweet it's actually more spicy more masculine more woody tobacco than usual i prefer that because almost every other fall winter fragrance has a lot more sweetness in the beginning so it, it would be very redundant now another thing i will say on this intro is that it feels strong but not like abrasive it doesn't feel like it's too harsh i would say it's strong enough to become a fall winter scent that will actually withstand the cold weather that i will say and when it comes to initial sillage and projection definitely this one is an aura scent in the beginning with of course draw in properties from the spices guys all right so this actually has a very decent sillage and projection an aroma if you will on this fragrance once you spray it. This intro right here, although not groundbreaking, will definitely appeal to those looking for that kind of masculine fall winter opening. I would say it's actually even mass appealing, all right? It's just more masculine, less on the sweet, which other fragrances do. A lot of redundancy there, but this one, again, more masculine in its approach. Very centaur-like because you've got more spices, like I said, and woody tobacco right here. Okay, now let's head into the mid of this fragrance right here, Creed Centaurus. Now, as I've said, you've got a pretty good coverage of the intro woody tobacco with some spices, a lot of spices actually, guys. You're going to get a good coverage of that, okay? One hour to possibly even two hours, and then there is, like I said, that slow reveal. Now, this reveal is actually when you have more uplifting and sweeter notes come out. That's my own terminologies right here, so you guys can understand. But it's not a quick reveal, all right? It's not like in two hours, you have a quick reveal of these sweeter notes. Here in this fragrance, it's actually a slow reveal. So you can actually smell the sweeter notes slowly get stronger and stronger as the mid continues. But like I said, you have a good coverage of that spicy tobacco intro. Now, let's talk about this mid, right? So on this mid, you have heavier notes that I will begin with. That's your patchouli as well as your geranium, guys. Now, patchouli is a tenacious woody note. It's very sharp, and it makes sense that you have it here as your heavier woody note. Kind of like a continuum from the spices, I would say. And then, of course, you have geranium, which adds some rosiness into this whole thing. It's not a rose scent, but it does add a rosy smell. And add that to patchouli. It's a common combination of patchouli and geranium on the heavier notes. Now, on the slow reveal, you are going to get some heliotrope, some almond-smelling heliotrope, and then you are also going to get jasmine, and in my opinion, the early appearance of tonka bean, all right? So it's going to be tonka bean, jasmine, and heliotrope on this slow reveal. Now, these three, all right, these three really reminded me 
okay, on the scent as it revealed itself, really reminded me of the cola scent that is in Enigma as well as HOSN001. All right, so I could actually smell it slowly reveal itself. And I was like, well, will this actually go into that full-blown kind of like Enigma scent? And actually it did, okay? But early into the mid, again, you have a heavier woody patchouli with some geranium still on top of it, still heavy, guys. But it is a slow reveal of that kind of cola-like scent that does resemble Enigma in a way, as well as HOSN001. Now, also, this reveal goes up to hour seven, all right? So slowly, again, from hour two, again, you'll still have that heavy woody patchouli with some geranium, but that heliotrope, tonka bean, and jasmine reveal will start getting stronger from hour two all the way up to hour seven. And you can say that this is the more uplifting side of it, sweeter side of it, more cola side of it, but it's still very much like a cola scent. Like I said, it feels like Enigma, feels like HOSN001. And I see the feedback. Some people are saying, yeah, it doesn't smell like a Creed. Well, of course not, guys. I mean, Creed is not into a lot of these types of scents. Obviously, they are concentrating on heavier fall winter scents like Carmina, for example. And it's a little bit different from those gent scent, like British light gent scent types, okay? So definitely, this is a fall winter uh, transitional scent. And yeah, you can definitely feel that reveal. I like the reveal actually. And I like the fact that it's still very much, I would say like masculine. It's not trying to be like unisex by giving like a sweeter reveal. It's a very slow reveal, still keeping it woody, still keeping the patchouli and the heavier geranium on it. So this is something I really like. But like I said, this whole mid, starting from R2 to R7, you really feel that nice like cola-like scent on this fragrance right here, Centaurus. Now on this mid as well, you're gonna get some continuity on the woodiness. You've got sandalwood as well, a smooth sandalwood note. So in totality, like I said, it's going to be some heavy patchouli geranium with a reveal, a cola reveal in my opinion, guys with some continuum of that woodiness via that sandalwood. Okay, so now let's go into the dry down of this fragrance, guys. The tonka bean continues in this dry down. And because tonka bean also has a tobacco-like smell, you really get a nice continuum here, okay? From the initial tobacco into the tonka bean, there's definitely some continuum. Now you are gonna get bourbon vanilla, which is vanilla with a little boozy touch right here, all right? It's very subliminal right here with a bourbon vanilla. And you are gonna get some amber, all right? So it's amber, it's gonna be tonka bean, it's gonna be bourbon vanilla. So it's a nice, sweet, ambery, like dry down. Again, the cola-like scent actually continues on in my opinion. I can smell that cola-like scent continue on up to the seven hour mark. And then it's gonna be bourbon vanilla, it's gonna be amber. And it's a really nice, like you could say like sweet ambery ending to this fragrance right here. Now, the thing I'll say about this is performance, all right? This fragrance, I mean, a lot of people during Creed's like, you know, hate, you know, era where a lot of people were hating on Creed, they were all talking about how horrible the performance was on Creed fragrances. Well, this time they listened to all because this one has a very consistent sillage and projection. I would say the strongest part is gonna be there, but it's still gonna be strong even in the mid, even in the dry down of this fragrance. Now, it is long lasting as well. Every time I've worn this fragrance in Taurus, the longevity, has gone up to 15 hours, up to 15 hours, guys. And again, to me, it didn't feel like it weakened, all right? And that's because, really, this is a heavy start fragrance with spices and woods and tobacco, and then it's a reveal. So actually, it feels like it's getting stronger over time. And I would say because there's Umbroxan as well near the ending, that's probably why this thing is long lasting as well. So for me, total longevity, 15 hours on Centaurus. So definitely Centaurus does not lack in performance. Matter of fact, it's a pretty good performer and I cannot wait to wear this fragrance when it gets colder actually. Now, with all that being said guys, this fragrance 
is a great scent. I mean, I like the scent. It's a nice like fall winter masculine scent. I mean, the name says it, the bottle says it, the notes say it, the way that it reveals a very masculine, spicy scent, ambery in the development, guys, with a little bit of enigma right there, a little bit of that reveal, like a little bit of that cola scent in the mid to the dry down right here. And for me, it's kind of like a two for one, okay? It's quite redundant, I would say, to have something like this because if you smell this, you probably have smelled other fall winter fragrances in the past that have the same kind of formula. But to me, it's a two for one and it's a standalone, all right? Standalone meaning if you're just wanting to buy one thing for the fall winter season, you can rely on Centaurus as a standalone because you have a couple of things working for you. Like I said, you have the spicy, woody tobacco intro that has a very good coverage. It's not like, you know, immediately sweet, immediately going to floral sweet. No, it's actually very masculine for two hours, guys. And a lot of guys will like that. And of course, you have that little reveal that goes into your ember, your tonka bean, your jasmine, your heliotrope, that sweet cola reveal in the mid towards the end. Ambroxan ending as well, great performer. So you have a two for one deal on a standalone fall winter fragrance. Again, I do not consider this groundbreaking, so please test this fragrance. Get a decant from Scent Rush. It's a, you know, I'm pretty sure he's got it for a really good price. Joey has it on his website right now. This is a try, okay? But again, if you don't have a lot of uh, fall, winter, spicy tobacco, woody fragrances with a little bit of cola, a little bit of enigma, guys. This is definitely something to try and have. Maybe get a bigger decant for you, but I think it can be full bottle worthy. Now, we will not make everyone happy, especially those that are looking for something truly groundbreaking. Maybe Delphinius will be more groundbreaking. I don't know, but this one is not. But if we're talking usability, if we're talking about, you know, appeal, if we're talking about masculine uh, type of fragrance, and this is definitely a fall winter grabber, I would say that this is a strong contender for that. And that is it. That is my no hype review on this latest Creed fragrance right here creed centaurus guys if you have tried this i'm sure some of y'all have gotten you know bottles in advance or maybe you've tried a sample from joey let me know on the comments below what y'all think of this fragrance i mean when i look at the fragrantica feedback it's just a lot of people yapping about how it's not really like a groundbreaking fragrance and they're not used to creed um doing this type of stuff and you know they know creed more for the british style like lighter fragrances well damn dude they gotta change i mean that's the point they received so much hate over the years by not adapting and i would say that they're on the right path right now starting with carmina they did aventus absolute and then they did uh queen of silk i mean in my opinion they're you know basically doing what a lot of y'all were yapping about they are adapting and evolving they're not going to be the same old creed but that's the point of it and again performance guys they are really working on that because this thing really pushed beyond up to 15 hours guys all right again let me know in the comments below what y'all think of this fragrance guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow for another video please do not forget to like and subscribe god bless take care peace